Welcome back, guys, to Trails into Reverie, where last episode, Daydream Force Open House continued, as for the first half of the day, Ash checked out the club activities around the school, getting rid of some punks watching the tennis before reading aloud with Tatiana for their club showing. After a break with the rest of New Class 7, his campus patrol continues. It's just like playing Cows of Cold Steel again. It really is. Let's re-begin. Do you have new dialogue this time? When I compare myself to Celestine, I feel like I've still got a good ways to go. I made most of this job so I can catch up. You know, Frankie, I've always felt that you were a man of potential, but I must admit you've grown astonishingly. I almost wish you could join us at the high arms. Oh, they've got the same dialogue. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, everyone's in the same positions. The normal people aren't to be spoken to. There are some extra people. There's Stark over here. Why oh, is Stark on the mini map? Yeah, he is. Oh, hey, Ash, perfect timing. Got a quick question for you. Once the open house is over, are we still planning on escorting the guests out like we discussed? I guess. We obviously had a bigger turnout than we expected, but we'll figure out a way to make it work. Like we discussed, you handle this area. Leonora will take care of the school buildings, and I'll guide any stragglers on the ground. So we'll stagger each of our phases so we don't cause a bottleneck on the way out. Sounds good. As long as we stay coordinated, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and I'll make sure to contact the train station when the time is right, so they're prepared as well. Works for me. Always nice I can count on you to stay on top of this kind of stuff. Telling me to look at the text color box colors is not always helpful at all. Like, double dialogue and stuff. I'd, mi I'd miss most double dialogue if I did that. Ah, oh, it's nothing. It's thanks to you and Leonora being so capable in your own right that I'm able to do all of this. All that's left now is to execute. Good luck, Ash. Let's make our classes proud of chosen us. Yes, you can see, like, this guy's got a grey, so he's going to talk about how, like, the fine architecture is, etc. But you just don't know if something might have appeared. But I'll rush round. I imagine, like, Yuna has more dialogue. Yes. <laughs> Before I even got there. Jeez, I said you didn't have to come. I know it's a long trip. It was nothing at all as long as I think of it as a mini vacation. Your father was sad he couldn't make it due to his work. He was so cool earlier, Yuna. But went zoom and everything. Uh, well, I have been training for a year, you know. Do you think I could do that someday, too? Sure, as long as you practice just as hard. All right, I'm in. Now I just got to register Louise to test this bad boy out. That must have been the Ashen Shot. The one inherited from the Ashen Chevalier himself. I don't know about that. <laughs> don't worry about it, Shuna. You just go and have lots of fun with your school friends, okay, sweetie? You're going to be staying and leave tonight, right? I'll show you around once the open house is over. Oh, but there might be an after party I have to attend. I hope that's all right. Well, they're coming as well, surely. Why not take them too? They're literally family. I think that counts. This was really supposed to be a casual... Oh, no. So your dialogue stayed the same. Randy! Well, Randy's won the events. Ah, start was greater for both, was it? Yeah, that would make sense, because we'd already talked to him. Yeah, I never really believed that. I think it's better to talk than not, he says, walking away from someone he didn't talk to. We check that way. We find stuff out. They haven't moved a, an inch. <laughs> Their dialogue is renewed. I wonder if... Uh, Maya, something's changed there. Well, first up, Randy Orlando. Someone is looking comfy, trying to get out of doing your job during the open house. Well, I've never seen someone on break before. Sheesh. Not that there's much for us instructors to do in the afternoon anyway. The other three are workaholics anyway. They practically got everything covered. So why not put my feet up and take it easy? That's actually kind of true. In other words, slacking off. Wait, don't tell me you're getting sentimental all of a sudden. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I hate to bail like this, but I only did hope to see you kids through to your graduation. And I've got to say, I never took you for the sappy type. What's the big deal? You just come back to your old crossbow stomping grounds. It ain't the end of the damn world or anything. Hell, if anything, I'm glad to see you go. Means one less adult to get on my ass about something stupid. All the growing you've done, that mouth of yours could still use some work, punk. Don't get me wrong, it sucks to go, but I'm not worried about things going south without me around to help steer the ship. 
You kids are plenty capable now. Not to mention you still got Reen and Toei. You couldn't be in better hands. Eh, if you say so. But he's not wrong. I don't think the others will have any trouble with those two still around. You know something, Ash? I realized it a while back. You and I weren't all that different from each other. Alright, who are you and what have you done with the real Randy? I'm serious, man. We both have, let's say, colorful past. And we both tend to put on a brave face and not look bothered over anything. We also tend to act laid back yet try to shoulder things all on our own. See where I'm going with all this? But it ain't all bad. Sure, we had rough starts, but now we've got places we belong, surrounded by people who respect and accept us. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it wouldn't kill you to lean on those around you every once in a while when you need them. Being there for others and being able to count on them being there for you is what love and friendship are all about. The jumping the shadows. It's not like I'm trying to be Mr. Lone over here or anything. You don't have to remind me of that mushy crap. I get it, believe me. Eh, yeah, sure. Consider it a little reminder. Doesn't it feel nice having made a lot of good friends here? Caught me by surprise too. I didn't think I'd get so attached to this place, to be honest. It's a part of me that's going to miss it. I'm going to stay here a little while longer and soak in it while I can. You go on without me. Helps to live a normal life again a bit more. And when normal life, like, as a job, you know? Not just the police job. It's not exactly normal, I'd say. They have an interesting life at the CPD. Of course, it's not like they didn't have an interesting life here, but... This feels more like a job job. I don't know how to put it. Okay, no one else here is doing anything new. Or above. So it makes me wonder if Reen is up here. I didn't notice anyone new down there. That one's up top. And everything else is in the main school itself. Ah! There's a little progression here, at the very least. Despite me maintaining the upper hand this entire time, his sheer tenacity is a truly impressive to behold. I don't even remember the last time I got so heated up about a chess match. Kurt's still alive, eh? I drew another challenging opponent. This may be above my skill level. Though I have no intention to surrender, I'll fight until the very end. Good on you, Kit. Looks like Ada is moving out the bracket while Fritz is out of the tournament. The tournament's attracted some really tough players. I lost early on. I was hoping to advance too, but I guess that's... Oh, you're, you're saying the same thing. You must say something different because you moved. It's impressive to see Kurt stay on the offensive and remain unfazed even when facing a high-ranking opponent. Makes me want to root for him and see him come out on top somehow. Maybe one day it'll be in a Trails game that they'll actually have... The dialogue go grey when it's actually gone grey, do you know what I mean? But that day seems a little bit further off. <laughs> At least until next summer. Well, I don't know if that game will do it or not. I'm glad the is back now. It's a little tiring rotating teaching duty for a swimming class when it's only me and Wayne. That's all you got to say, eh? I've guessed every member of New Class 7 is, uh... I should have spoke to Muse again, yeah. That's time I check in on the clubs. Better pull my way if I don't want to burden Ali and Wayne with extra work. I shouldn't be impressed, school. Is Wayne still dying? Poor Wayne. I feel sorry for him. He's trying his best. He's putting himself out there. It's always kind of like nasty when you put yourself out there and then someone doesn't like you. Don't get the response you want. But equally, not everyone's going to be interested in your muscles. I'm naked. Look at me. <laughs> Isn't night. It's a shame we didn't have more time to prepare. How I would have loved to get Kyrie in a kimono. As a thought, I didn't need getting put in my head. What kind of kimono would he wear anyway? Why, ladies, of course. Anything else would be a waste of his ADOS given talents. What the hell did I even ask? Mark my words, Kai will wear a kimono before we graduate next year. Count on it. My heart is pounding with excitement now. His death, his dream of being the manliest of men, is definitely happening. 
I mean, what makes him unmanly to be in a kimono, eh? That's truly manly. It's manly to me, damn it. I need to go downstairs. That's the... I'm confused. I'm getting my directions all messed up. I kind of thought... That was out there. Oh, that's the upper level. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm reorientating myself through Falls Branch Campus. <laughs> hey, Ash. Junior committee member rounds. What do you think, smart ass? So how's it going? Sounds like the literature club is going well. Yeah, well, I left all that to Titania. Tatiana. And yet I saw you participating in the reading. You weren't too shabby either. You were watching. I just happened to be passing by, so I took a peek. Ah, uh, ain't anyone ever told you that nobody likes a peeping Tom? Ah, uh, my bad. I can't help but be curious about how my students were faring. Right, whatever you say. But I guess you're always like that, prone to sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. I bet you've been running around all day looking out to people. Uh, yeah, actually. I figured just hadn't seen you anywhere. Not that I'm complaining. Thanks to you, I had an easy time of it. Well, as an instructor here, I've been trying not to get too involved. As the guy, he'd probably write a formal letter apologizing for jaywalking, but I guess there are people out there who appreciate it. Ash, I just don't want to owe you anything. Ash. I'm going to keep sticking my nose into people's business. That's just how I am. And that goes for your business, too. If anything comes up, let me know. I'll come running. I'm your homeroom instructor, okay? I told you, that part of you is so damn annoying. <laughs> Did I just... <laughs> I love how that cutscene means that Ash was walking down the stairs and then met with Reed. <laughs> and then went, no, I'm going back up. <laughs> Anything to extricate myself from the situation. I know that's not actually how that played out. wonder how the other events are going now. As good a time as any to check in on him. I will, but first of all... Hey, um... Man, this right there ain't gonna be any time left for patrols. Do you handle this place? Peace. <laughs> Ash, wait. Speak to Tatiana, please. Who's in the storage room? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Doing the rounds, Ash. Yep. Are you checking the equipment? Hmm. Mm-hmm. More importantly, I'm so sorry I can't help much with keeping things running. I've been busy handling VIPs today. Hey, no point in apologizing to me. Plus, saying this whole open house thing about making the students do the work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess you're right. Honestly, it brings me back to when I was still a student. Our school festival was quite the event. I heard a little about that from Crow. He apparently has some recorded footage of it. Uh, y you don't need to see that. Jeez, Crow, what are you thinking? Oh, now I really will have to get him to show me sometime. No, I officially forbid you as an instructor. <laughs> By the way, when I was a second year, I was the student council president. I heard. Pretty easy to imagine. Hmm, you think? It was honestly really tough. But everyone on the council helped, and so did Reen, so I managed to hang on till the very end. Schwartz was on the student council. No, not quite. But he was always accepting our requests. And even outside of that, he was constantly helping people who were in need. Not like he's any different now. Oh, I think it's nice. Anyway, it was a hard job that put a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, but it was equally uh, yes, fun and worth doing. Cool, bully for you. Anyway, sorry to keep you here. We'd both better get back to work. You've got this, Ash. Take care. Yeah, thanks, I guess. I'll admit that being the student council president back in the day had its challenges, though it wasn't as if I had to do it all alone. The other council members helped me, and at the end of the day, I valued my time there. So keep your chin up and hang in there with your duties, Ash. It will be over before you know it. You got this. Sure thing, Madam President. Alright, last event of the day. I'm pretty sure I spoke to you already. I don't know if that was new dialogue or not. <laughs> I can't remember, I've spoken to so many people. Help my help my poor brain soul.
Carbite, did something happen? No, just here for the regular report. The open house is proceeding as planned. All the clubs are doing well. I see, good work out there. You seem busy. Yes, well, end of the year paperwork on top of the issues regarding the open house will do that. Not to mention dealing with my successor. And you're quitting the branch campus at the end of this year, right? I am. The RMP is understaffed. To be honest, they asked me to come back right after the war ended, but I managed to get them to hold off until the end of the year. The current plan is for Instructor Herschel to take my place. We're bringing in a new instructor to fill the role she's vacating, so you kids don't have to worry about anything. I ain't worried. Eh, yeah, good. I suppose I'm the one worried about the branch campus on my way out. But now that I think about it, that was all for naught. You kids have all grown tremendously in the last year. Look at you. You were the number one problem child when you got here. Now you're someone people can rely on. Uh, I'm not some model student. I think you were responding with your first assessment. Regardless of what you think of yourself, it's a fact that the people around you trust and depend on you. So I hope you see this committee job through to the end. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Kinda have now. By the way, General Le Guin is going to be staying on as the branch campus's principal. Considering who we're talking about, she could easily return to active service whenever she pleases. Other way, there's no doubt in my mind that the branch campus will expand even further going forward. You're an upperclassman now, so make sure to serve as a good role model for the kids below you. Uh, you know as well as I do that I'm about as good of a role model as a cigarette butt you find beneath the school dumpster. Ignoring your colourful choice of words, I'm only asking you to be yourself. That's it. After all, the branch campus is unique. Just look at the principle. Major Evan gets it. Now what? <laughs> Ballot box. So I'll take a look later. Not now then. I'm leaving here. Bing bong bong. Phew. Almost time to wrap it up. I should probably cast my vote. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I literally went there to do it. Didn't know there was anything else going on. School entrance is where I have to be. Which club had the best event, eh? It'd be lame to vote for my own club, so... Uh... Modern Music Club. Yeah. They played a gig on the Durfling. That's pretty cool. I'll write my comment, too. There we go. that, the afternoon portion of the Forest Branch Campus Open House came to a close. The visitors departed the school grounds in good spirits, satisfied with the festivities. As soon as they were all gone, Principal Le Guin summoned all the students and faculty onto the field for another assembly. I'm pleased to announce that both the morning lectures and afternoon club activities were both very warmly received. Suffice it to say, the open house proved to be an excellent showcase to the general public of how far we've come in a short span of time. I can ask for a better conclusion to an eventful first year on this campus with all of you. Success such as this is only made possible thanks to the hard work and effort put in by every person involved, no matter their role. Impressively, despite the many hours you will have put into this, not a single one of you looks exhausted now that it's behind you. If anything, I see excitement and anticipation for the future in your eyes. A wonderful sign of what I'm sure is another good year to come. That having been said, it's now time for today's main event. Uh, I don't get it. All the visitors are gone. There's nobody else left to see where whatever this is. She's talking about the club voting. It'd be pretty lame if that was the main event. We will now announce the results of the first student council presidential election for the branch campus. What? Nobody said anything about an election. Hiya, it's me, Min, everybody's favorite engineer. I'll be your MC for the next segment. While Instructor Toe is over there tabulating everyone's votes, let's give our candidates one last introduction. First up from Class 9, Military Finance, it's the Branch Campus's highly capable social butterfly, you know him better as Stark. Next from Class 8, Combat Tactics, is the branch campus's heaviest hitting, ever considerate sister figure, Leonora. And finally, hailing from Class 7, Special Operations, it's the campus punk with a heart of gold who everyone trusts, Ash. <laughs> Are you shitting me? 
It goes without saying that this inaugural student council election is a very special occasion. As you all know, these three students were nominated by their respective classes, and when all is said and done, one of them... Hey, Schwartz, what's the deal? Mind telling me what the hell's going on here? What's there to explain? The ones who serve on the Open House Executive Committee get to run for president. Your efforts running things and helping the Cubs get ready were essentially a campaign to show everyone what you're capable of. You've got to be... This is news to me! Ah, oh, Musee, I thought I told you to give him a rundown last week. But Instructor, you see how he's reacting. If I told him he was up for the election ahead of time, he would have quit on the spot. So I decided to leave that part out in the interest of the student body. Why, you, you set me up! Look, what Musee did might have been a little mean, but we all did come together and choose to nominate you for president, Ash. Are your heads on straight? Anyone soon to be student council president? It's phony locks over there, not me! Or you could pick Mr. Hotshot on a student. Hell, well, Philly would have been better, and she's a freaking loose cannon. Really, just about anyone here would do. Well, almost anyone. Little Bunny, probably not. You could have been a little more discreet, but I don't disagree. I'm neither suited to nor interested in being president. Well, in my case, my hands are already full with the duchy. Besides, you know me. I prefer scheming the shadows over work out in the open. Let's scrutiny that way. I'm not a reach of shame to be found. As for me, I am also busy following in the footsteps of my predecessors in the Vander School. In that case, sense, I don't think it would be right for me to lead other people. Well, not right now, anyway. And I'm the last person you want filing paperwork and doing all the other administrative stuff. That's fair. You're more the type who prefers being out in front, leading the charge rather than commanding from the back. Taking all of that into account, we were led to a realization. Our best candidate for student council president is you, Ash. It wasn't simply a process of elimination. We nominated you for your ability to get things done and also to support others. Huh. Accepted, Ash. At this point, it's too late to change our nomination. I'll admit I would have perhaps preferred you to properly volunteer for it before things got underway. Be that as it may, I also happen to agree that you're the best man for the job, Ash. This isn't funny, you guys. This isn't just some of you... Look, let's distract the Toa. That must mean... There you are. I'll leave the rest to you. You've got it. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The final results are in. Let's see. Wait a sec. Unfortunately, it looks like one person's vote had to be invalidated. It went to the Modern Music Club. It says, I was sufficiently rocked. Hard to disagree there. Unfortunately, that's not what we were voting on, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is it. <laughs> so that's what that ballot box was about. Damn it. Anywho, on to the final results. In third place with four votes is Leonora. Eh, take what you can get. Thanks to everyone who voted for me. I really appreciate it. In second place with five votes, we have Stark. To be honest, I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little disappointed. I was all ready to take up the mantle and get to work. Vice President. Oh, well, it's hard to complain coming in second. Uh. <laughs> if those two came in second and third, then that means... Um, I think you've all narrowed it down, but finally, in first place with 10 votes, exactly twice as many as our second place candidate, and more than both put together, the Forest Branch Campus's first ever elected student council president is none other than Ash Carbide from Class 7. Congratulations! Yeah, that's awesome! Hey, good for you, Ash. There's nobody more perfect to be our president. Agreed. I always knew you'd win. Are you shitting me? You? Student Council President? <laughs> Laugh of the century, right? You're not gonna really do it, are you? You just don't know when to give up, Ash Carbide. It's truly pathetic. You think I don't know I'm unfit for it? How couldn't you? You're so weak, you can't even beat me! How the hell do you expect to set a good example for anyone? I said I know. You'll never stand shoulder to shoulder with anyone. Never as a friend, as a confidant, or as a leader. You can put money on that. Whoever voted for you must be out of their damn minds. It's beyond laughable, isn't it? Come on, Ash. Let's hear you laugh. 
at this farce, at the biggest joke of all, yourself. <laughs> There you are, Schwarzer. Took you long enough. What's the occasion, Ash? Why'd you call me up here? Need to talk about something? You could say that, yeah. Got something I need to tell you. Well, you might want to make it quick. The others are going to be starting the after party soon. Can't kick off without the man of the hour, you know? Yeah, an after party, yeah? Better to call it a farewell party when all is said and done. I'll cut to the chase, Schwarzer. I'm... Resigning from fours, is that it? What the... How the hell did you know? Give me a little credit, Ash. It's my job to stay on top of my students and their thoughts. But you read me like an open freaking book. Happy now? Because I sure ain't. Let me ask you this. Does this have anything to do with that what happened between you and the Emperor? His Majesty is doing just fine now. He's back to full health. He personally forgave you for what happened. It's water under the bridge. Don't think I get that. Just because he's forgiven me doesn't mean that I... That I can. And so your solution is to pack up and leave, is that it? Yeah, that's right. That's all I had to tell you. Peace. Ash, wait. I respect your feelings, but I want you to stay with us. Uh, what's it to you? I thought about playing the good instructor and listing off a bunch of rational reasons why you should remain here. But I can tell you've thought this through and feel sincerely about it. I won't try to reason with you. I'm simply going to speak from the heart. Ash, I really do want you to stay put. And it's not just because you're one of my students and I hate to see you go. I consider you a friend, a partner who's gone through a whole lot with me this past year. Oh, give me a break. Just once, can you not turn this into some corny-ass speech? You'll live. Think of the rest of Class 7. I think they'd be pretty sad if you didn't get to graduate with you. Yeah, right. I don't know what happened with your gen. I'm the only one dropping out here. Nobody's going to miss some good-for-nothing jerk like me. You don't really believe that, do you? You need to open your eyes and take a good look around if you believe nobody here appreciates you. Uh, what you... Wait. He's right, Ash. That's not it at all. Son of a... You guys heard all of that? Not all of it, but some. It was seems the instructor was aware we were here. We got the gist of things. I have to say, it's about what I expected. Everyone's worried about you, Ash. You've been acting off for some time now. Ah, uh, so you guys were on to me the entire time. Great. Not just us. Look. Ash. Ah, uh, damn it. You too. Are you... Are you really going to drop out? Think so. Look at the bright side. Now you'll be able to read in peace without my dumb ass scaring you. You should be happy. That's... But I won't. I... I did find you intimidating at first, but you're razor focused when you read your books. You even recommend ones for me to check out sometimes. Whenever I have a problem, even if it's silly, you always go out of your way to help me like it's no big deal. Most days we both read in silence, it's true. But over time, having you there has made the literature club such a cozy place to be. The silence won't be the same without you. I'm so glad we're in the same club together, Ash. So glad. And I'd rather it stay that way. Ugh. Tatiana. Why, look at her pour her heart out. Honestly, what she said goes for all of us. I get that you put a ton of thought into this. I really do. Nobody's denying that. But we're just as determined to make it to graduation together. Every one of us, as a class. We'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. Don't think you can bail out on us so easily, mister. Indeed, you're being rather narrow-minded about all of this. You really should reconsider. Not to mention, I did lose you in today's Panzer Soldat scrimmage when you caught me by surprise. I would be haunted to the grave if you ran off before I had a chance to settle the score. Don't forget me. I would hate to see you go as well. And I would be the only one tormenting our dear instructor on a regular basis if he's so lonely without an accomplice. As the instructor in question, I'm uh, not sure what to make of that one. I wouldn't be particularly upset if you left. Uh, Ali, we're trying to... However, it would be sad if I was unable to graduate with you. That much I can say for certain. Ah, oh, damn it, guys. It's not just Class 7, either. You're appreciated by everyone on the branch campus. They need you here. Today's election results are a testament to how vital you've become to our school. Hey, Ash, what are you doing standing around all the way up here, huh? 
Oh, it's you guys. You're still here. Not for long. We're about to head out. Oh, we're coming to the shindig tonight, do you know? We've got something special for you there to celebrate your victory. So I hope you're getting pumped. Yep, see you there, Mr. President. Not you guys, too. The timing could be more impeccable. <laughs> I'll say. Whatever. I don't care what any of you say. I'm still... I'll give it a rest already, will you? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I was wondering where she's been. <laughs> Principal Le Guin, I didn't realize you were still on campus. There's something I forgot to mention, but before I get to that... Ash Carbide, you don't truly think you can leave this academy so easily with, that, with so much unfinished business now, do you? Huh? So what if I do? This branch campus hasn't seen a single student leave our ranks to date. Not even the war could shatter our perfect record. As principal here, I'm not about to permit our first desertion in such a shameful manner. Are you for real? Boy, she's really putting the screws to him. I can see her point, given the circumstances. Of course she wouldn't be all that inclined to accept his withdrawal. Ah. Uh. If you really insist, I shall let you go, but only if you agree to fulfill one last assignment as your condition for graduating. Yeah? What kind of assignment? You must demonstrate the fruits of your education at this prestigious branch campus as one of its first students. Something tangible. Falls is an institution with deep ties to the Imperial family. You must shoulder its legacy without shying away from it. Surely you owe that much to His Majesty, the Emperor, after all that has happened? It's hard to argue against that. Agreed. That sounds like a very reasonable thing to ask in return. Not to mention, I believe today's election offers you something of a unique opportunity. One you would be foolish to pass up. Ah, oh, damn it! What makes you all think you can boss me around? You have no idea what I'm thinking. Well, Ash, I hate to say it, but you brought all this upon yourself. Now, are you going to turn tail and run from those forts, or will you confront them head on? The choice is yours. Shit, you guys are playing real dirty, you know that? Ganging up on me, going to me at every chance, going straight for my damn pride. How the hell am I supposed to run off in peace now when you go to all that trouble? And does that mean... Let me make one thing clear. I ain't staying because you guys all cried Sharkodile tears. Nothing like that. I was the fort of ditching this place when I still got stuff left to do. Fine, I accept your dumb assignment. I'll make good on it so hard it'll wipe that smirk clean off your face. Meanwhile, to this time to graduate, you better believe I'm going to be putting all you guys to work. And that goes for the new kids. Ash. <laughs> now there's the Ash I know. Yeesh, Ash, can you admit how you really feel just once? Frankly, at this point, I'd be more shocked if he did. Agreed. At any rate, this coming year is shaping up to be a rather fun one. I can't wait for it to begin. Oh, yes, Carbide. About that other thing I forgot to mention earlier? The student council president is permitted to select who gets to fill the other roles in the council. No election necessary. <laughs> that is all. Don't let me down now, present Carbide. I shall expect great things from you. Well, it sounds like the Branch Campus Student Council is now officially down the way. There you get to work, Ash. Um, if you need me for something, I'd be happy to be treasurer. Really, I just want to help however I can. Make your life easier as a president. She's the best person for the job. She's already in ch charge, or change, of the Branch Campus' accounting after all. She's spotting the change. Oh, that's right. I have to get ready for the after party, so I think I'll be heading back to the dorms now. Not so fast, Bony Locks. You're not trying to run away from me, are you? Was it that obvious? Clear as day. Uh, seems we had nothing to worry about. Yep, all's well that ends well. And uh, Ash, stirring up trouble until the very moment I step off this campus, I swear. So, you didn't run away. <sighs> yeah, no matter how lame I may look, I decided to stay the course. You already noticed, right? That curse of yours vanished a long time ago. I know. You're nothing more than the manifestation of my own guilt. <sighs> Finally put two and two together. Guess it's time I was on my way then. No. That's not how this works. You're not going anywhere. Probably not ever. But I'm gonna keep moving forward. Even if it means crawling on all fours. So you just sit there and watch. You sound pretty dead set. <laughs> Fine by me. 
Make sure I get a real good look then at the future you've resolved to create through blood-stained hands. Two days later, Forest Branch Campus, the first student council, Treasurer is Tatiana, Secretary is Stark, Supervisor is Leonora, Vice President Muse, President Ash, verified by Principal Aurelia Le Guin. Haha, <laughs> Muse. <laughs> Deserves that. And so ends Daydream 4's open house to uh, resolve or at least uh, put a good end dish to a plot thread. We get like a movie length duration of Daydream. See how Ash is moving forward. Makes you wonder about the daydreams that are still to come. Now it's back to the Reverie Corridor and patrolling, correct? It's pretty cool. Great old music too. 10,000 mirrors a reward. A true rage is a bonus. Maybe Kurt can get that. Student council bans have been obtained. You're not a fan of what they did at all. Making student school council president without permission was 100% wrong. Sometimes people need a purpose given to them. It's like the weirdest thing. Like sometimes working a job, even if it's a grind, like your daily job, it it, it it gives you a purpose and allows you to feel happier in life overall. Some people need to feel needed. Sometimes some people get thrust into positions they don't necessarily want to be in, but it kind of also makes sense for them to be in that position. What does True Rage do again? It's just extra evasion, wasn't it? True Rage was crap. <laughs> yeah, it's just extra evasion. I forgot about that. I was like going, oh, what is this going to be? Oh, it's rubbish. That's what it is. Terrible. I don't know if I give you the rage now. Need to drop some accuracy for you, but still. 